Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and today we're gonna be playing with some of the gayest mods that I could find for The Sims 4. But before we get into today's video, I wanna do an announcement really, because I know that I uploaded a video over the weekend. It was a haunted asylum challenge, which was basically how paranormal stuff affected the prior asylum challenges that I have done on my channel. I know a couple of you have questioned me about this and I've made the decision to remove the asylum challenges from my channel. I absolutely apologize for not giving the context that I usually do in Saturday's video, but then also when someone brought it up in the comment section of that video, how the challenge is extremely ableist, I actually went back and watched my old asylum challenges and I was like, this isn't the person I am anymore. I don't want to perpetuate that. I was actually taken aback by some of the language I used and I definitely wouldn't use it in this day and age. Like that is absolutely not a representation of me, what I believe anymore. They were very much inspired by the content that I was consuming around that time. I said it back in those videos, but they were very heavily influenced by American Horror Story. But even with that context and looking at it from like this, that historical viewpoint of what asylums were like, I came to realize that back then I was over speaking people with mental health problems. I was extremely defensive in myself. Like if someone tried to tell me that I shouldn't be doing that challenge. I literally just overspoke them and somehow justified it in my head. Whereas when I received a message this weekend about that specific haunted asylum challenge, I was like, no, you're extremely correct. And I'm gonna remove this from my channel. And then I followed that up with removing my past asylum challenges. And if there's one thing I've learned, it's literally how I live my life now is to listen to minorities, listen to those people who live in those circumstances day in and day out, no matter what minority they are from. And in this instance, I absolutely should have listened to the people who were affected by mental health problems. And that's why I have taken the decision to remove them from my channel. I no longer want to perpetuate that. And if anything, this weekend has especially taught me that it's just a game is not an argument. There are some things that should just not be included in games and that's why I've decided to remove them. So if you were wondering where they've gone to, that's my stance on it. Moving on from this, I'm just gonna live my life by listening to people. I have to keep on educating myself. I have to keep on unlearning biasness as well because that plays a very strong role. And moving on, I hope that you lot will also join me in this. I hope that we can continue to grow and change together. I think it's so important to like, realize your past mistakes and this was absolutely one of them. So I am so sorry to anyone who in the past I was very defensive with. I can only apologize for that. I was an idiot and I will hold my hands up and very much say that. And I'm so sorry to anyone who saw that video and didn't feel included in my channel or that I was demeaning them or belittling them in any way. Especially those of you who do have mental health problems and do watch my videos as an escape. I am very, very sorry for that. And I hope that I can just continue to move forward and grow and learn and educate myself and also call myself out and just listen to you when I need to. So the mods that we're gonna be playing with today, obviously I had to go for Lil Miss Sam's Simda dating app. If I know anything about the gays, it's the fact that we love a good little dating app, don't we? Especially right now, you know, Online dates are so important at the moment, keeping your distance. And really the only way to meet someone these days is online, um, cause there's no clubs or anything that we can go to. So obviously we have the Simda dating app, pretty much works the exact same way as 
Tinder. I obviously have my usual custom content face paint from Fairy Sims. I have used this on a couple of the Sims I'm gonna be playing with and I know I'll get questions as to where I got it from. I use it if I have pride in my game. I think it's just such a cute makeup and also super inclusive. There's so many flags included in this custom content. So thank you, Rachel, as always. I have made like individual videos about some of these mods. I've also done like best mods to celebrate pride and things like that but I just wanted to do a video where I include them all together and like actually really play with them. Usually when I do mod stuff it's kind of just overviews and I never really get to play with them too much. So this is Pimp My Sims 4, this is the LGBT mod pack, this is absolutely a must-have. It adds gameplay, it adds traits, your sims can come out, they can go to pride, they can have LGB meetups, they can have coming out parties, protests, drag shows, hotspots, gay hotspots, lesbian hotspots, pride spirit, LGBT activists. This mod goes on and on and I think it's so incredible that this exists. Then we have a custom content pack that I hadn't come across but this is by the Crypto Club. They are basically like a collaboration of content creators which I think is so cool and they created this stuff pack called Punk Pride which looks incredible. I mean it's quite specific for the type of sim that you're playing. However, I just think that this is so incredible that they've done this. And then obviously we have Ruffa by Neon Ocean, which I actually did a video all about this mod last week, discussing how you can set your sim's pronouns, has custom pronouns, has neo pronouns, and also has they them pronouns. I'm never gonna remove this from my game. It's something that I've wanted to see officially in the game for years. And and I'm very glad it exists in a mod. So we're just gonna play with all of these and explore them in this video. We're gonna go to Neon Ocean, we're gonna refer pronoun settings, pronouns, and then we're gonna go to they, them. Yes, please and thank you. There we go. We do not wanna go over tuba two. <gasps> Ooh, I also have the chemistry system in my game and who's this made by? The pancake one. Despite feeling negative vibes from Taylor, Stephanie thinks this may change. Why have you got negative vibes already? Also, that doesn't have to be romantic if you don't want it to be this mod. It can just be like for friendships and stuff like that as well. So we've got Stephanie with the they them pronouns. Dom, what are you doing? What are you up to? What we should do is actually go on over to the LGBT mod. We can ponder about gender identity, we can ponder about sexuality. I'm actually gonna have Dom ponder about his sexuality. Who am I attracted to from pondering about sexuality? So you get a focused moodlet with this. Sometimes I wonder what genders I'm attracted to, if any at all. <gasps> Dom seems to have taken a liking to Taylor. Oh, he's so sweet. I love his little face. He's just like, hello. Hi, Taylor. All right, we know what sexuality Dom is. We are gonna sex, set, whoa. We are not gonna sex him. We are gonna set his sexuality as pansexual. Oh, there's also some new stuff as well. We can set as allies, set as drag king or queen, set as in the closet, set as out of the closet, set as an LGBT activist. Dom is very much an LGBT activist. Let's be real here. He is an icon from hosting LGBT charity Gala. The sim uses public protests and other methods to try and improve the way LGBT sims are treated by society. It's also set to in the closet. Not the Elsa reference. Oh no. Could not be me. I don't know. I don't know Elsa. Conceal, don't feel. Apparently Dom is in the closet right now, which technically isn't true. I feel like Dom is very out. So what we are gonna do is also go to LGBT mod settings. We are going to set as out of the closet. There we go. I'm out and proud. Yeah, you are, buddy. Yes, you 
are. We can ask about a sim's sexuality or identity, ask to donate to an LGBT charity. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna cry. This is so damn sweet. Oh, they also all come under the LGBT mod, which is super simple to follow. We can also come out as bisexual, discuss being bisexual v pansexual, discuss current LGBT issues, encouraged to come out, get excited about pride. Dom, why don't you, LGBT mod, we are going to... Talk about protesting for LGBT rights. I flippin' love this. There's so many options. There's also way more options than when I feel like I first explored this mod, like even back in June of 2020, I think was when I made this video. And I feel like the creator has done so much for this mod already. It gets a little bit clunky when like it says like set gender as transgender. However, that's just a way for your game to recognize that your sim is trans like it doesn't mean that you are identifying as transgender like taylor still identifies as a male he him pronouns it's just a way to be like yeah i'm i'm a trans dude and i'm proud about that which is really really nice i mean the language is a little bit clunky when it comes to the sims but that's really the only way i think they could get around it and taylor's sexuality i don't think taylor's actually completely decided so just like you know just vibes just vibes for taylor just questioning right now this sim is in the process of wondering what their gender sexual orientation romantic orientation or other identity is questioning can happen at any age and can take anywhere from days to years don't I know it? Wow, that one hits home. I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely moved this lot into Rochester because I was like, I feel like they all became friends in university and then they all just decided to stay in the town that they went to university in because they have like such like close-knit ties to the community and general. And so we're gonna throw in a gay bar. Absolutely. This one is made by Pixie MJ. So we're gonna drop this in to Windenburg. Hopefully it will all go um We'll make it a nightclub. I mean, it could be a bar, it could be a nightclub, whatever tickles their fancy. I feel like Dom is more of a, a nightclubber. I feel like maybe the other two are like bar. Dom's like, no, we are going to the club. We are gonna dance all night and we're gonna have a great time whilst doing it. There's the LGBT charity Gala. Host a gala to raise money for an LGBT charity that delivers advice, support, and information services to the community. We have a drag show. Put on a show by singing, dancing, or acting out scenes whilst dressed in drag. LGBT meetup. A way to meet up with other sims in the LGBT community. Unity. Then there's also the protest, join other sims and protest for LGBT rights. And then there is the coming out party. Come out to your friends and family and celebrate br being you. So I think first off, we're just gonna go for an LGBT meetup and luckily it is also free. Oh wait, but no one else. It's just gonna be my sims. <laughs> We don't know anyone else and I haven't set anyone else to LGBT in the world. Oh, I love this place though. What the heck? This looks awesome. All right, Dom, come on over here. We are going to order drinks. Can we order drinks for the group? Um, oh, we're just going to order a drink for Stephanie. Oh no, the bartender left. Taylor, are you already hitting on the bartender? No, you're not. Okay. Are you going to go tend the bar? Where are you going? You're going dancing. Taylor, I thought Dom would be the first one to get his dancing shoes on, but Taylor was like, absolutely not. I am going to go dance the day away. I can't believe we've come to a nightclub at 1pm. Honestly, why do I feel like this is going to be every nightclub when like things start to open back up? Why do I have a feeling that people are just going to get drunk at like 
1 p.m. I kind of want to give a friendly introduction to P real quickly. I love P. P is one of the nicest townies. Oh, you can set other peoples. That's good. So you don't actually have to like cheat them into your family. You can just like when you meet Sims out and about, you can just set. Oh my goodness. Brant's here as well. This is too much. My little, my little lesbian heart can't take this. I am so excited. Everyone's here. Like, what are the chances? The game's actually working with me. The Sims 4 is like, don't worry. We got you. We'll invite all the little gabies out on the town today. So you can also se select pronouns for other Sims as well using the Neon Ocean mod. This is incredible. You don't have to add them to your family or like go into their families to be able to do that. What's in the basement down here? The toilet, of course, as every gay club should. <laughs> Dirty, dingy toilets. Mm. The the hive of activities of any gay that I've ever been to. <laughs> All right, we are gonna set your sexuality as gay my friend brant i love you oh we can ask him to donate to an lgbt car charity because obviously we are an activist so let's see what brant has to say about that that was a positive interaction oh i think he talk about protesting for lgbt rights this truly is an lgbt meetup even though we didn't even invite these sims We've got P over here and we also have Brent. This is incredible. This is exactly what I needed to see. Oh, and we've got Stephanie's they them pronouns showing up in this little interaction here. Stephanie is busting some moves. They have unlocked some new dance moves and can now show off the arm charm dance move on the dance floor. I'm so jealous of Stephanie's outfit. Oh, I want to celebrate pride. I miss it. We didn't get to celebrate last year because of Miss Rona. And I doubt we'll be able to celebrate too safely this year. But I might do an online thing this year, which I'm very excited about. However, we did celebrate on Twitch with the help of The Sims and the help of you lot. You all gave your Sims to me. You trusted me with your Sims. And we we had one big virtual Pride event, which I absolutely love. Riled up for the cause from discussing LGBT issues. I really need to be more proactive and stand up for our rights. Oh, supportive. This sim is bisexual. This sim is non-binary. And feeling proud from coming out as bisexual. I'm so glad I came out to this sim. Knowing that they accept me for who I am is the best feeling. Stop. Oh my word. I absolutely... This is giving me too many feels. I can't handle it. Brittany, leave. No one cares about you. You're not a gay icon. <laughs> Taylor's like, oh. <laughs> oh. Stephanie, you just proved my point wrong. I said that absolutely no one cared about Britney and then you started yelling and cheering. How dare you? This is not rallying for the LGBT court, Stephanie. You stopped that, right? Now. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> they heard me talking and they were like, oh shit, Molly's watching. I better, I better disown Britney. We are gonna go to phone. Oh, we could go on the, I'm just gonna have a cheeky look. I'm just gonna have a cheeky vibe through Simda and see what we can find. So you can go on a specific date looking for someone special, something serious, then this might be your right choice. Adventurous, open-minded, curious. Choose this if you want yourself to be surprised. Female blind date, adventurous, open-mindedness, male blind date, one night stand. Just want a quick hookup? Find some willing hot sims nearby to spend a hot night with or enable hookup calls sign up for hookup call service we're gonna leave it for now we might have someone go on a date but uh, we're gonna we're gonna cancel out of simda i've missed having simda in my game i had that mod ages ago and then i just like forgot about it when i was doing an update one time and didn't reinstall it but it adds so much fun to your game. I really miss like online dating in The Sims. So Cinder is a great mod if you yourself miss that as well. 
Let's go to um, plan a social event. I want to do a protest and see how this works. I think we're probably going to go to San My Shuno. I don't know why, but San My Shuno is like the one place where I will always do protests. One, because like protesting did come with city living, but also I feel like it's got that city environment where you can really like let your voices be heard and like can actually have an impact and change things and there's a lot of coverage about it so we are going to do the lgbt protest we can invite like the whole even people we don't know <gasps> yes okay i'm down for this all the gay icons morgan of course is he fabulous of course mary and blossom absolutely Knox would be there in support of his mums let's be real i want to do a video where i actually just like turn all the sims gay that i read as lgbt not just gay but like just lgbtq plus in general um and i really want to do that where i just like basically play out how i feel about them in my head <laughs> yes come on come on come on come on let's get everyone involved oh my goodness absolutely dom just asked to join protests so we're just gonna everyone's getting involved oh my goodness this is exactly what I wanted to see. This is so loud, but I'm I'm loud and proud. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna change it. I'm not gonna say that they have to quiet themselves. I'm not gonna turn my Sims voices down. I want them to be loud. Look at them all with their pride signs. Oh my word, Brant is going in. Yes, Brant, I flipping love you. Gonna ask to join protest. Come on, Mary. I know you want to join. Oh, Taylor's speech didn't inspire ever anyone. Taylor, it's okay. You you started this protest. You set this up. Like, this is yours. No one can take that away from you. You did this, bud. Even though no one really listened to your speech, you're out here protesting. This has been amazing. This is also great if you do, like, throw pride if you have seasons in your game and you set up like a pride event and then have like protests and stuff throughout the rest of the days i just think this is such an incredible mod along with all the other like custom content and mods like the refer mod is absolutely a staple in my game and like i said i will probably never remove it unless it breaks but thank you all so much for tuning in to this video and once again i just like to echo what i said at the beginning of this video that I truly am sorry to anyone who I have belittled or demeaned throughout those challenges and I only hope that I can continue to educate myself on such important issues and I appreciate every single one of you who did flag it up to me. Calling people out when it's due is definitely needed. It's needed so that people can continue to educate themselves and learn and I really, really appreciate it. And just continue to support each other in any way, shape or form that we can. Thank you all so, so much. I will have links to all of these mods and custom content that I mentioned down in the description below. Thank you to the wonderful creators of all of these mods. And if you would like me to explore some more of these events that we can do, like the drag queen or king event and the charity fundraiser, definitely let me know. I can always do a follow-up video on this. I appreciate you all so much and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.